Welcome everyone, on the iPad itself, I want you to open up the settings app. Then I want you to find here Bluetooth. And from here, you're just gonna make sure that you see now discoverable as, and then your iPad name. If you don't, the Bluetooth is turned off, so just tap on the toggle to turn it on. From here, get your Nintendo Switch Pro controller, and you wanna find the top of the controller itself. You're gonna see this black button. We're gonna press and hold this black button. It requires a lot of force. We're gonna hold it down until the bottom of the uh, switch controller shows these green LEDs. So these green LEDs will turn on after we uh, hold the button. So let's do this together. Click and hold, three, two, one. Click and hold, hold it down, give it a couple of seconds, and the LEDs are not showing up. So if this happens, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a charging cable for the Nintendo Switch Pro controller. If you're wondering, the charging cable is the same as your iPad's charger. Plug it in. And now we're going to do it again. Three, two, one. I'm going to press and hold that black button. And it's not, I'm not going to make the tool look perfect. If it's still not working, I think I'm going to need a tool. Because the thing is, this button is really small. I'm failing to press it. So I'm going to use this tool right here to press it down. I'm pressing the button down. And there we go. You can see the green LEDs are now blinking. And you can see in other devices, Pro Controller. So if you're having issues, get a sharp device, like a screwdriver, something like that, and just use it to uh, press the button down. And then you should see Pro Controller, tap on it. And we'll give it a couple of seconds here. And just like that, your Pro Controller has been successfully connected to your iPad. So again, the issue I was having is my finger was not able to press down the black button, the solution was to get a sharp tool like a SIM ejector. Uh, so if you have a phone, check out the box. Uh, if you have any tweezers, you'd probably be able to use one side of the tweezer. So just anything with a sharp end, use it and that will press down the button and then the controller will be connected. So you can see here, look at the bottom, pressing the D-pad and I can actually control my iPad using the Switch Pro controller. So that's pretty darn cool. And the camera's frozen, but you get the point. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.